time in the final time and the angles of the uh, joints. We will be able to use that mathematical model in the Arduino program and uh, turn the manipulators with the angle that we want in a specific time. So download the code and uh, try to execute it. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the code that uh, you have received already. Let's just uh, quickly go over this. <coughs> All right, everyone. That batch. Have a seat. All right, let's take a look at the program one more time. So uh, we have three motors here, motor one, motor two, and motor three, and they are connected to pin number nine, 10, and 11. And then here we have double Q naught, Q0 is nothing but the initial angle. Q0 and QF are nothing but theta0 and theta f. So initial and final angle. So currently our initial angle is set to 180 degrees. Double is nothing but a data type. So in C language we have data types such as integers, characters, float, and double. So we are using double so that we can also send values uh, in decimals. So we have double Q0 is equals to 180, which is uh, the initial angle. And then we have uh, a servo um, variable, and then we have theta1, theta2, and theta3. Uh, these three variables control the three motors that we have. So we are doing the same here. We attach <coughs> theta1 to the motor1, theta2 to motor3, and uh, the same with uh, theta3 to motor3. And uh, this is the initial position. We are setting the initial angle for the motor1 uh, to 180 degrees, the initial angle for the uh, the second motor is 90 and the third motor is 150 degrees. So these are just the initial angles. So coming to the loop, um, actually take a look at this serial dot begin command here. This is something called a, a serial communication port. So using the serial dot begin, you will be able to send commands to the Arduino using an interface. So once you execute this program, take a look at this serial monitor button on your top right hand side. So once your program is uploaded, click on the serial monitor. Uh, in this case, I don't have um, Arduino connected, but it will actually open a dialog box in that you will be able to enter the value, such as an angle or a time. Can you upload the, can you upload it? I don't have an Arduino kit right now with me, but uh, you know, once you get the code, uh, try to upload it and then use a serial monitor. So we are just going through the code right now. So uh, in the serial monitor, uh, you will be asked to enter an angle. Let's say if you enter 90 degrees, and then you will be asked to um, enter a time. You can enter, let's say, five seconds. Then the motor uh, will be uh, turning from 180 degrees to 90 within the span of five seconds. So that's what uh, this program is. Take a look at these four variables, A0, A1, A3, and A2. These are nothing but the variables that you guys derive in your class using your mathematical models. So uh, once you have the values of A0, A1, A3, and A2, you can use the polynomial equation, the cubic polynomial equation, to uh, set the angle at a given moment of a time. So that polynomial equation will find the angle of a motor. Let's say if it is uh, three seconds, you will be able to calculate how much angle it should be at the uh, three second mark. So uh, that's the uh, trajectory planning. Um, try to download the program and. Uh, Execute it on your Arduino kits, and if you have any questions, just let me know. <coughs> Entire script, uh, starting from include um, server.h, all the way from here. No, I was asking that in the we have to enter the angle and the time. Yes, you need to enter the um, angle. So the way that you enter is use the serial monitor here. So click upload. Once the program is uploaded, then click on the serial monitor. Then it will ask you to enter the values. 